Doors has been getting kind of boring. So I asked all of you to give me some fan-made entities you had. The first one is by Linksy. And he said make an entity that gives you free Robux. Then he also said something like don't credit me because he doesn't want to be arrested. <coughs> Steal my fame. So I made this guy and I made it really obvious that he was rich. By searching on Richard the Avatar Creator. I'm basically putting everything on him. At the end he had 30 accessories on. Yes, I counted them all. This guy had everything from a gold shirt, a golden hat, chain saying rich and sus. I different hats three different sunglasses and i think at least like seven designer bags he even had a book saying how to get rich on roblox his name was even rich guy so it was really obvious he had loads of robux i animated him reading the book and when you talk to him he'd give you free robux oh you just die Next was from Cardin, and he said make flamingo. He also specified to make it jump. So I got Rush, and cut out this flamingo head in Photoshop. I plopped it on Rush, but I made the edges pink. I made it so when you'd open the door, he'd run through the rooms, just like in the real game. I animated it jumping. I made that its walking animation. And here's the final result for that. Yo tengo, yo tengo, yo tengo, yo tengo Next was from Jenny Punker, and they said make Seek but with a trumpet. Now the previous ones have just been a bit boring, I wanted to go all out on this. So I made Seek have a trumpet head, a trumpet hat, and even holding a trumpet. But then I went to the next level. I put two noobs playing trumpets next to him while he wore a trumpet shirt with another trumpet shirt behind him holding a second trumpet in its left hand. I made it chase the player down. I made his kill sound a trumpet, just to really top everything off. And when I sent it to them again... I think they like that one. Next I asked my Discord server for ideas because I was running dry. And this user by the name of Gus said that he's a Doors concept game owner designer. I said it was his time to shine. He made this entity called Howl. And if the lights flick red once, you need to hide. And it bounces through rooms very fast. Basically like ambush. But if they flick red with a quiet howl, run to the next four doors. And it'll break anything in its path to make it slower. I really like the design of the entities. That's the only reason I really made it. And uh, it was really buggy. But once it worked, it was actually not that bad. Here's the final result for that one. The next one is taken from my YouTube community poll. And it's by this guy, and I have, I have no, no idea, idea how to pronounce his name. He said statue can appear three times depending on how big the room is, and will despawn when the next door is unlocked. And he said it needs to chase the player, but it was past midnight, and I couldn't make an AI script. So I just made it stand there, and if you touch it, you die. And here is the final result for that. Today, I'm gonna be making my own Doors entity. Completely custom, not a copy of any other entity, because every single entity in my server is just another copy of Rush. So let's begin. First, I need to know how the entity would look like, and after hours of pain, sweat, tears, and other stuff, I made this. Now, you can already tell that this is beautiful, but I didn't know how to make this in Roblox, and so the video idea ended. After they completely rejected my work of art, I made a quicker model of it in Roblox, where I used a shy guy base and just added really, really fat ears on it. And now you can already tell that this model is amazing and there's no way they can make a way back. So yeah, somehow they turned this into this masterpiece. But the thing is, I don't know how to animate.
And then I asked them very, very politely if you can animate them instead. And I would show you the animation process, but... Yeah, they forgot to record it. And after like an hour, they sent me the finished animations. Keep in mind, they call this actually good. And these are the animations they send back. And if you don't know who they are, they make these really, really cool Doors animations like the Crucifix remake or, I don't know, Figures Jump Scare. And I'm actually a fan of their videos before they even suggested a collab. Next after they sent me that, it's time for me to get to work on the main entity. I made a simple place for the entity to chase you. I made a very, very simple AI script. Very, very simple AI script and implemented all of the animations. Next, I darkened the room so the flash thing would work and got to work making a flash, which just brightens your entire screen. And it actually worked. Next, I worked on making it idle and they actually sent back four different idols when I specifically requested three. So they're not a good listener. I'm sorry. After those idols were down, I made it so each time you flash, the entity would get faster and faster, just so people don't carry on reusing it. And I made obstacles for you to avoid, but I kept getting stuck on this, so I changed this AI to break everything in sight, including walls, wardrobes, and doors. Next, I gave it a red tint and finished up every single sound effect. And I'm not lying, this is actually really scary. But before I finished, I sent it to all of you guys to try and to tell me if there were any bugs. And surprisingly, there were actually no bugs, which is basically impossible for something that I made. But yeah, that's extremely lucky that there were no bugs. But there was one criticism. Forget the last bit, they call it Goofy. I was enraged by this. And so I forgot to add them on my community poll. No, but actually, thank you so much. This turned out amazing. And if you want to play this and try it for yourself, link is in the description. I'm still waiting on more bugs before I can upload this to the real game. Also, please subscribe and go subscribe to Maddie. They help me out with everything. Thank you. And here is the final result. <laughs> I gave myself one hour to create my own custom doors entity. So I started by listing out ways it could work and came up with these five things. And as much as I wanted to do number five, I chose number one and started work on this distorted hotel. I made it so it would be like the regular one, but just with a weird filter. And after trying out different filters, I settled on a black and white one. But for testing, I used this rainbow one. Next, I had to make the entity itself, which is just going to be a copy of Rush. But instead of its face, it's my logo. And the black particles are now blue. But the way it works wouldn't be exactly like Rush. I made it so each time you walk into a room, there's a 35% chance it acts like Rush. Another 35 that acts like Ambush. Then a 30% chance it just chooses wherever it wants to be. So it can move back and forth like Ambush, but only once. After getting that to work i only had about 30 minutes left to make the rest of this distorted hotel so i made it a really long corridor with a bunch of eyes and then started to work on sound effects and here's the final result <laughs> Today, I'm making a new entity for Roblox Doors. So this entity was recommended to me on my Discord server, and it would quiz the player between four different entities by playing a sound of each of them. If the player gets it right, they live. If not, then they get jump scared. And if you want to be in a future video, you should join the Discord server too, just like this guy. And here's the final result. Today, I'm making new entities for Roblox doors. So this guy on my Discord server, which you to join, link in the pinned comments, made this new entity. And he even made a model with animations and everything. He called it Stare and said that it was like Figure but isn't blind. So it's, it's nothing like Figure. You have to do three puzzles to open its door and then you can escape. But I didn't want to add its own AI system. So I just make it so if you fail this puzzle, it chased you. And here's how it looked so far. I added its walking animation and something so it could chase the player and hid it in the darkness. And Gave you three math problems to solve. Kind of like Baldi's basics, because that's what this reminded me of. And here is the final result.